Hello and welcome to another episode of CV Made Simple, the page dedicated entirely to simplifying your transition into the cabinet vision world. My name is Spencer Baker and I'm your host. And today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about integrating CNC machines. More and more people and their shops are moving to CNC machining, which is a great thing if you've already been using cabinet vision, you've got your construction methods set up, and you're outputting reports that you're then running on the table saw so that you can cut and build your cabinets. Before we can do any of that though, we need a few things from you. The first thing is we need to know that your machine is either delivered and on site or it's in the process of being delivered. If the machine is already on site, we need to know that power has already been run to it, that the machine techs have already tested all of the parts and that it's running smoothly. If that hasn't happened yet, we need to know when so that we can start our process in getting you set up. Now, the easiest way for us to know what we need to do for your machine is to have you reach out to your rep and start a conversation. We'll need to know what machine you're getting. We'll need to know whether you want to be able to print labels at your workstation so that you can slap those labels directly onto the parts. We'll need to know if it has a drill block or if it has auto loading capabilities. We'll probably need to know the manufacturer and all of that information, but the easiest way to get all of that in one concise place is to use our integration worksheet that we send you. Before we can schedule anything, we have to have you fill out this integration worksheet so that it can go to our tech department and they can look through all of the data and see what we still need to know. The integration worksheet itself is pretty simple but there are a few things that may trip you up. So I'd like to just kind of walk through this if we can to make it a little bit simpler for you. So the first thing we'll need from you obviously is all of the basic information about your business. That helps us to tie it to the account and to find out all of the information we need so that we can contact you whenever the day of your integration comes. Next, we need to know what version of the software you're on. We also need to know what version of cabinet vision you are currently operating on. At the moment, the earliest version we can integrate with is version 12. Now that means we can do version 12, 2021, 2022, and 2023 as of this video. Be sure to talk with your rep just in case because things change quickly in the technology world. We need to know the operating system of your workstation. Are you on Windows 10? Are you on Windows 10 Pro or Windows 10 Home? Whatever that is, we need to know all of that. Is your workstation networked? If so, what is your network operating system? We need to know if there's any admin passwords. Really, all of this is just helping us to mitigate any bottlenecks that may make our process go a little bit longer. We want this to go fast, so we need all the information we can get. Next is the machine type. Are we integrating a router? Are we doing a point to point? Is it a beam saw? Is it a chop saw? Those things are very important. We need to know the brand, the model, the serial number if you can find it. The controller is the name of the computer that's typically at the workstation that you input the code to, and that will translate to your machine and actually run the program. We need to know what the controller is, what software it's run on, Typically, all of that will be given to you by your machine rep. So if you have any questions with this, feel free to talk to your machine rep before filling out this form. We need to know if the machine is new or used. If it's used, we need to know how used and how old it is and what current CAM software, if you're using one, uh, it's currently operating with. If it has additional router heads or tool changers, we need to know how many tool changers it has and we need to know the distributor's name. If we can get the number and name for the distributor, that just helps us to have a point of contact in case anything goes wrong so that we can get questions answered quickly. On the next page of the implementation worksheet, we have a series of yes or no questions. Now, all of this is going to be based around your existing knowledge of cabinet vision. If you don't know much about cabinet vision, answer truthfully, we can help you. If you already know quite a bit, feel free to go all the way down the list, checking what you know, what you don't know, and then follow up with your rep for any additional questions you might have. 
Then we have some general CNC machine information. Is your machine currently on site? If yes, hit yes. If no, try to give us a date if you know it. Is it currently installed? Is it on a network? Does it have multiple tables? Does it have a saw head? Does it have a multi-drill head? If you don't have this, you can simply check no on all of these spots. That allows us to just move right down the list. The reason we need to know this information is we need to know how much integration time that you might need for us to do this in the most effective way possible. The last thing we want is to charge you for one day of integration and then we run out of time and we still haven't gotten your machine completely up and running. After that, we need to know if you've already set up construction methods for your shop. If you've done all of this in Cabinet Vision, that's phenomenal. It's very, very helpful for us. But we need to know, are you a face frame shop? Are you a frameless shop? Do you do a little bit of everything? Either way, it's totally fine. It's totally okay if you've got a very custom construction method you're used to using. The most important thing for us is that we set that up before your integration. That means that the parts we're testing can actually be tested to the accuracy of what you're wanting. If we don't have that set up, then we're not helping aid in getting you up and running by the end of the integration. That means we would have to do follow-up trainings and things like that in order to help set it up. And we want to try and get all of that done prior to your machine integration. The third page of this worksheet is in reference to the multi-drill setup if you have a drill block in your CNC machine. Now again, any of these questions that you have regarding this section can also be related to your machine rep as they will probably know some of this stuff if you don't. But we need to know what it looks like, how it's oriented, which one is set as the zero zero reference tool, how many drill spots we have, and what the numbers are for those individual spindles. Next, we need to know the offsets for the spindles based on that reference spindle and the orientation of the head of your CNC machine. One simple way to do this is to just snap a quick picture of what your drill block looks like on your machine. Obviously, that's not as easy to do if you don't have it there with you. But again, if you reach out to your machine rep, you should be able to get all of this information to us. The fourth page is our terms and conditions. Make sure you read through all of this. And then whenever you're done, give us a signature and a date. And the fifth page is our implementation review at the end of the implementation. So once we've integrated your machine, we've tested everything, everything looks good, you're happy, it's cutting like you wanted it to cut, we will follow back up walking through each one of these, checking the boxes to ensure that you've gotten what you need. And once done, your integrator will print his name and sign, and then you will print your name and sign as well. Once you've got the first four pages of this sheet filled out, send it to your sales rep so that he can send it on to our scheduling department. What they'll do after that is reach out to you using the contact information that you provided to make sure that we can pick a date that's going to be the most effective and helpful for you. For instance, if we know your machine is being installed on May 1st, we need to make sure that we have all of our ducks in a row to have your post ready after the machine rep has spent his time dialing in your machine. The machine guys will come in, they will install the machine, they'll calibrate it, they'll test it, they'll level it, they'll do all the things they need to do to make sure that it's running properly from their end. And then we will come in from the cabinet vision side and connect everything from your computer to the machine. The machine tech doesn't touch any of the cabinet vision stuff. The cabinet vision guy doesn't do anything with the machine. So first comes the machine guy, and then comes the cabinet vision guy. Simple enough. The last thing that we'll need from you is some sample G-code run on your machine. So your machine tech has come, he's dialed in the machine, he knows it's working. The way your machine rep has been able to tell if he's installed it correctly is he's run something that he can then ensure it's calibrated how it's supposed to. What we need, the final thing we need from you is some sample G-code run on your machine. Not just any machine, your machine specifically. When your machine tech comes in and dials in your machine, he's probably got a way to run one test part to ensure everything is correct. 
What we need is the G code running a test part that gives us all of the operations that your machine is going to need. If there's a tool change, we'd love to see a tool change. If there is a drilling operation, we need to see the drilling operation. This will help us ensure that the post we're writing for your machine is as accurate as humanly possible before we hop in and start spending time. Our goal is to make sure we've got everything customized to you before we are on the clock using your money. If you don't have a CAD software or a CAM software to create that G code, we recommend reaching out to your machine rep while also CCing your cabinet vision rep to try and get everyone on the same page to get us the code that we need in order to make sure that this runs smoothly. And once we have all of that information, you're pretty much good to go. Our scheduler will assign an integrator to your account and we will find a time to make it most efficient for us to get everything integrated. The integration typically takes one to two days depending on how advanced your machine is. And once we have all of that information, you're pretty much good to go. Our scheduling department will assign an integrator to your account and they'll find the soonest possible time to get your machine set up the way you need it. Depending on how much time you purchased, it may take a little bit longer for us to get everything scheduled. Our integrators are constantly working on installing new machines, so the turnaround time can range depending on how busy they are. And that's why it's incredibly important that you give us all the information as fast as possible when you know you're getting a new machine. Our preference is to get everything six to eight weeks before your machine actually arrives. This would allow us to kind of get all of our ducks in a row to ensure that we can get as much done with no lag time for you because time is money and that is our primary goal to get you up and running so that you can make money as fast as possible. Communication is the key to getting this done fast and efficiently. So as soon as you know you're getting a machine, be sure to reach out to your sales rep so that we can get the process going. Now from the software perspective, whether you're getting a router or a point to point or whatever it is, as long as it has CNC capabilities, we'll have to sell you a link or a post for that machine. Each machine you'll have will have a separate post that's customized to that specific machine. Once you've got that in your software, you'll be able to create machine sets where you can then filter certain parts or certain materials to each individual machine. This helps keep everything clean and efficient, and it helps us know if something's going wrong, what we need to do to fix it. If you don't have the screen to machine center, we'll also have to add that, and then you'll just pay for whatever integration time you'd need. If you need our help setting up construction methods or dialing in certain aspects of the software that you can't figure out on your own, you may also need some additional training time, but we can deal with that once you talk to your sales rep. Again, speaking to your sales rep is the most easy way to get all of this done quickly. So I hope this was helpful to all of you out there. If you have additional questions, feel free to comment below or send me an email at cvmadesimple at gmail.com and I'll be sure to help out where I can. Thanks and have a great day.